Black buttercream has to be one of the hardest things to achieve, and it's not so much the color, it's more about a recipe that not only looks good, but tastes good too. And I finally found a really good balance. So you wanna start off by melting some chocolate. So I've got a whole block of chocolate here, and I'm just going to chop it into little pieces to make it a bit easier to melt. And then I'm just going to put that all into a microwave safe bowl. Try not to make a mess. <laughs> now you just want to melt that in the microwave for 20 second bursts at a time, giving it a mix in between each burst until it's completely melted. So once your chocolate is nice and smooth like this, then you just want to set it aside and in another bowl you want to combine your icing sugar, salt, and our secret ingredient today, which is black cocoa powder. Now you just wanna whisk that all together. Now black cocoa has a very strong taste, so this recipe balances that out with the melted chocolate and the icing sugar. Next, I'm going to heat up some milk in the microwave, and you want this to be super hot, so you know, heat it up pretty well, but just make sure it doesn't overflow. Okay. Okay, so my milk is bubbling now and it's got some steam coming out, which is what we want. It's nice and hot. And then what you're going to do next is add your milk to your icing sugar mixture. And what this is going to do is it's going to bloom our cocoa. Now what you should end up with is quite a thick black mixture like this. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to pour our melted chocolate into this mixture. And then give that a good mix. It's actually a bit hard mixing it with the whisk, so use a spatula. <laughs> now once you've got this, you know, kind of nice thick mixture, then what you want to do is you want to set it aside and in another bowl you want to combine some butter, vanilla, and your black gel color. And then you just want to mix it for a few minutes with a stand or hand mixer until it's a bit fluffier. Okay, now this is what it should kind of look like. <laughs> now all that's left to do is to get our, you know, mixture from earlier and combine the two together. Now you may notice that your mixture may be kind of really, really thick and kind of hard to get out of your bowl, you know, depending on how long it's been sitting. And if that's the case, then just warm it up just ever so slightly in the microwave and it should kind of loosen it up a bit. Okay, now the last thing to do is to just mix this together until it's just combined. So don't over whip it, otherwise you're going to lighten up the color of your buttercream. But we want to be as black as possible so you know just until it's just combined now I'm just finishing off by hand mixing mine because I don't want to over whip it and that is basically it you have beautiful beautiful black buttercream now if you notice that your buttercream is not quite as firm as you want it to be that's because we've melted the chocolate and it hasn't had time to set yet so all you need to do is pop it into the fridge for just kind of maybe like 15 to 30 minutes and then just give it a little re-whip and then you'll be good to go so that is it guys I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs Thumbs up below and subscribe if you did. And please, please leave a review on my blog if you try out this recipe and enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one.